Facebook Live, Facebook Live. Hallelujah, we have arrived. Hallelujah. One more. One more time. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. <clears throat> I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman uh, Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek. Man, on the early what I see this for study and prayer line on his 15th day in uh, December 2020. Uh, let's get ready. Hallelujah. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. <clears throat> let's go to um, 2 Corinthians 4. <clears throat> second second Corinthians four and one. Let's rock, y'all. Four and one. <clears throat> Therefore, seeing we had his ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. What, what put us in the situation that we're in, uh uh Demina, good to see you all. Matiyahu and Yosef and, and Battle, Melissa. <clears throat> Big Mark. Shalom, shalom. But therefore, seeing we had his ministry, right? As we have received mercy. Did you know to have a, 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 a ministry for the, for the Most High, working for the Most High, this responsibility that he has bestowed upon his children that are faithful to him, that love him? Looking at it appropriately, that's mercy. Beverly, Beverly, good to see you all, young lady. That's his mercy. Yeah, that's his, it's his mercy to not be blind. Yeah, Trenda, how you doing, sis? Mankind is blinded. Mankind as a species is walking in darkness. Mankind as a species is lined up for judgment. Mankind as a species has sided with the L Lucifer. <clears throat> yeah. I call Don Deems. Good to see you on. Trinda. You too, young lady. <clears throat> Therefore, seeing we had his ministry, it's a responsibility to be the light of the world. That's a responsibility. To stand, to stand with the most high in these last and evil days. That's straight. That's what ministry is. Ministry is a responsibility. And those that belong to him are walking in it. That I'm telling you. Th those that have been illuminated, quickened, and made alive, they, they're walking in ministry. 100%. <laughs> they, work, they work for the most high. And Nicole Robinson, good to see you on. And they're willing to suffer to be meat for the master's use. Yeah. They're not entangled in the affairs of this, of this life, of this world, that they might please him that has called them to be a soldier. Look at it. Look at an individual. Look at an individual and see who's working for uh, the most high. Andre Woods, good to see you all, fam. Look, look, see, see, see who's working for the Most High. Yeah, look in the mirror of the Word and see are you working for the Most High? Because, because we have a ministry, we have a responsibility to the Most High. We have a responsibility to be uh, carrying truth in these last and evil days. We have the, we have this treasure in earthly vessels. The, the treasure is His Ruach Hakodesh, His, his Word. His living word living inside of us, leading us into all truth and sharing that truth with others. And the responsibility to feed, to clothe, to witness, to study, to show yourself approved, to, to fast, to be the one that, that give, to be, the, be, to be the one that's the example, the head and not the tail. In this dark, dying world. <clears throat> A world that that that's filled with 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 uh <laughs> with, with with deception. 
Hey, hey, look at this. Let me read something to y'all right quick. I wasn't going to. This is what I was reading this morning, so I'm sharing it. But look, look what it says. Second Ezra five, five right? Look, look what this say. Second Ezra five and one. This is unexpected, y'all. <coughs> look what it say. But about the signs, look, the days will come when those who live on earth will be seized with great terror. The way of truth will be hidden. The way of truth will be hidden. Look what he said. And the land <clears throat> will be barren and devoid of faith. Folks not going to be doing what the Most High said. They're going to be led uh, by, by, by faith, right? <clears throat> Look what he said. Injustice will be multiplied beyond what you yourself see and, and beyond what you have heard of formerly. <clears throat> the land that you now see holding sway will have uh, uh, no one left to walk upon it and people will see it desolate. It reminds me of, uh, what's that What's that movie, sweetheart? I was just watching. I Am Legend. <clears throat> Looks like I Am Legion. But anyway, I Am Legend, right? It, look, it sounds like this with, it, look, this is described in something like that. I'm telling you that. But watch this. Look, it said the land that you know now see holding sway with no one uh, left to walk on it and people will see it desolate. But if the most high grants uh, that you live, you will see it thrown into confusion after the third period of time. The sun will suddenly start shining at night and the moon by day. Blood will drip from wood and stones will speak out. People <clears throat> will be troubled and nature and, and, and natural courses will be changed. A person, a, a person no one on earth expected will come to power. And birds will, will, will migrate together. The sea of Sodom will cast up fish. It will uh, utter sounds in a voice that many don't know. But all will hear its voice. Chasms will open up in many places and fire will, fire will be shot forth uh, uh, frequently. Wild beasts will roam beyond the territory. Sounds like what we're doing now and, and I am legend, right? <clears throat> Let me say, wild beasts will roam beyond the territory and women will give birth to monsters. But it, what I mean, I can keep going, right? Y'all read it when you get a chance, Ezra, 2nd Ezra, but 2nd Ezra, the, the fifth the fifth chapter is what I was just reading to y'all, right? How, how folks come into power that wasn't expected to come into power. Come into power over the a whole earth. You know, interesting. Anyway, <clears throat> I could keep reading, but if you read it, you know, people are going to be deceived is what it's talking about. And, and the way of truth going to be hidden if I would have kept reading. Right? Well, let me just read the ninth verse with it, right? Monsters. Uh, salt waters will be found in sources of fresh water. Friends everywhere will begin to fight each other. What caused them to start fighting all of a sudden? Reason will be hidden. And intelligence will go into hiding. People, people you think is, is, is intelligent or not intelligent at all, according to scripture. Right? They don't want to fit in nobody. There's, their ignorance comes as a punishment, right? Right? The reason will be hidden. Why are people, why are women giving birth to monsters? And why are animals roaming in other territories that they weren't roaming in? Why, why are people fighting one another? It sounds like something happened to them. That caused mass destruction and death and people losing their mind and wickedness. <clears throat> but the reason that is happening is going to be hidden because people are going to cooperate. Anyway, back to 2 Corinthians, y'all. Listen. <clears throat> and one, four and one. Therefore, seeing we had his ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not because of his mercy, we know truth. Second Ezra 5, uh, uh, Kimyana. But, but, but listen, therefore, see, we had this mental responsibility. Um, 
Uh, you know how you're given a job and a responsibility, but you hate it because you're into yourself. You, you don't have the appropriate level of selflessness. So you having a ministry, the ministry is going to get neglected because you, you're too interested in yourself, right? Because watch this. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, when you have the revelation that is by his mercy that you have the truth to speak. You got sellouts don't want to speak truth because they're people pleasers. But you got those who are going to tell the truth whether you like it or not because they don't work for you. They work for the most high. And they, they're willing to go through the suffering equivalent with having this ministry. Being misunderstood, being uh, uh, mis, uh, uh, misunderstood, folk don't like you. Holding iniquity in their heart towards you. Accusing you of being mean, rude, and judgmental. All those come along with the package when you stand with truth. And it is a ministry. It's a, it's, it's, it's a ministry. How you doing, Jackie? Good to see you. And Shante, good to see you on as well. But look at this. <clears throat> the ministry is being there for the homeless, being there for the widow, being there for <clears throat> the under-resourced, being there for the brokenhearted, being there to help the marriage, help the, uh, uh, the, the children, just, just a minister. And the inconvenience to come along with it, the willingness to take a phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, and not complain. Why? Because we, we know it's mercy. To be deemed a vessel of honor is mercy. When you selfish, you look at it as, man, I ain't putting up with, I, I can't do that. Because you're, 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 you're carnal. Come on, y'all. Because you're carnal. You're not willing uh, to, to, go, to walk in the level of selflessness that's necessary to be a minister in these last and evil days. To be a servant in these last and evil days. To work for the people. Yeah, to love on people, to be there for people, to pray with the people, get in the word with the people, fast with the people, pray with the people, love on the give to the people. Yeah. Therefore, see, we had this ministry. It's, it's a responsibility. And in order to keep up with the responsibility, I'm telling you now, your flesh not going to like it. Who, 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 who is it? Who is he? Or she that will uh, uh, be able to minister and love people in these last and evil days and not have a disgruntled heart about it. John, Johnetta, Johnetta, good to see you on, young lady. Therefore, seeing we had this ministry, we see that we have a responsibility that came from the Most High because we're supposed to be uh, uh, the, 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 these, uh, 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 the, you know, we're supposed to be the vessels filled with the treasure of the Most High. We're, we're, we're the earthly vessels. We have the treasure in earthly vessels, a treasure of the words of the mo uh, 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 of eternal life. We have it living inside of us. He baptized himself inside of us. And not only uh, uh, do it lead and guide us in all truth, but we share that truth with others. As we have received mercy. It, 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 it's, it's because of his mercy that we become the light of the world in these dark times. That we're willing to cry loud and spare not. That we're willing to tell people the truth no matter what. Good to see you on, Delisa. Always a pleasure. <clears throat> Therefore, see, we had this ministry. We had this responsibility. Listen, with the truth that we carry in these last and evil days, right, is not popular if you're willing to tell people the truth. If you're willing to look like the bad guy. Did you know the Messiah and his followers look like bad guys? Because the whole... A religious community was against them. That's why the word teaches that wide is the road to lead to destruction, right? Straight and narrow is the path to lead to life. The little tiny road is those that will speak truth and live truth. Not only speak it, but live it. And, and the truth that they speak is not popular. Um, not willing to compromise. I, I was faced, I'm not going to get into details right now, right? When I faced with a great uh, opportunity, right, w w with with some powerful people, and so then it came across my plate yesterday. It came across my plate of what I have to be down with, right? What I, what I have to, what, what I'm supposed to be endorsing, 
I'm endorsing all kinds of stuff. And there was a particular thing that I'm supposed to endorse. And as soon as they said that, I said, I'm not doing that. I'm not, not nice working with you. I ain't doing that. That's it. And they hurried up and switched. Oh, you don't have to? Yeah, yeah, because I'm not going to do it. No sell out here. So whatever blessing that was attached to it, I was willing to give it away. Bye. Yeah, I'll eat top ramen, keep preaching and teaching truth. I'm not going to be the church, uh, the, the church dude, the, the, the religious dude. I'm not, I'm, not going, I'm not going to sell out and compromise y'all for nothing to nobody. How about that? <clears throat> easy come, easy go. Bye. Therefore, see, we have this responsibility. That's what ministry is. It's a responsibility to serve the people. It's a responsibility. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. Our earthen vessels is, is us as individuals. What we have in us is the Ruach HaKadosh, his spirit. And, this, and his word is going against the grain of the times we're living in. We're living in a time where they call good evil and evil good. That's, that's the times we're living in, period. And when you stand with good, with his word, with his righteousness, you're the bad guy to them. Period. You are the bad guy. What you stand for, they call hate. You're, you're a hater. You have phobia. You're, 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 wick, you're, you're wicked in the eyes of the world. And then you got religious folks that would take that position if you don't have people that really stand with truth. They don't care what you think, how you feel, when it comes to uh, your feelings exalting itself against the knowledge of Yah. Because the word casts down every imagination, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah. You feel a certain way, you call love what most high call hate. So, 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 so it's been reversed. So when you speak truth, you look like, look like a hater and you can lose friends. You can lose relationship. People smile at you, but they really don't like you. And some people look at that as a burden. They look at that, they look at that, the man, the man uh, uh, Yah said, man, ever since I met you, I've been going through it, trouble after trouble after trouble. He said, you know what, I quit. But then he turned around and said, but it was like fire shut up in my boat. I couldn't quit. Yeah, I, I'm not a people pleaser. I got to please the most high. I'm trying to save people. And, 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 and salvation comes uh, to convincing people to neglect their wickedness, to neglect their human nature. When the gospel come, the best array come, it lines you up to turn against your evil nature. That's what it's all about. When a person is not willing to turn against their evil nature and they're a prisoner to their carnality, automatically they don't like you. They're not down with you. <clears throat> yeah. Automatically it's just a matter of time before the gulf is fixed and you guys begin to separate. Because if they don't like Yah, they shouldn't like you. And you have the ministry to represent Yah. Yeah, that's why the Mashiach was teaching his disciples. He said, man, if they don't like me, they definitely ain't going to like you. Yeah, if, 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 they, if they wanted to, if they was hollering, crucify me, what do you think they're going to say about you? And if you're carnal, if you have carnal, have spiritual, you up and down, in and out, your carnal piece is going to hate the fact of the hassle you got to go through to carry truth. You got family members that's, that's, that, 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 that's perverted. That, that, they're sick. They're spiritually sick. And you'll take their side because they're your family. You, you on some other stuff. When the Most High will have you still love them, but you're going to preach against the sin. Yeah, you, 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 you'll be one that will cry loud and spare, lot, spare not. And people don't like that. You literally look like, you know how you ever heard, met preachers or, or believers be like, you too much, you too judgmental, because that's your carnal nature, straight up. Because, because if you look at uh, the Messiah and his disciples, they carried the ministry. And people followed the Messiah, religious people followed him, and they hated him. The religious people, the ones that were supposed to be representing Yah, hated the Messiah. Because he would tell you when your breath stinks. Oh, why you, why you, you know, you too judgmental. Say what you want to say, right? Because the same truth that came to save one individual is the same truth that come that offend another. 
The same truth that leads you to salvation and eternal life is the same truth that compel, repel people away from Yah and cause them to want him dead. Kill him. Crucify him. And, 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 and we fall in that category as true ministers. And the reason why we don't quit, the reason why we don't faint, the reason why we don't sell the most high out, because we got the revelation, is by his mercy that one, we're saved. It's by his mercy that the scales have fallen off our eyes and we can see. It's by his mercy that we're not caught up in sexual perversion. That we're not caught up in being a dope fiend and cussing, filthy communication coming out of our mouth. Come and go as we please, do whatever we want. It's by his mercy because we was led by our evil nature too. But by his mercy, we were called out of that. We were, we were called out of that. We were called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Yeah. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, this responsibility, because he had mercy on us, it's our responsibility to share that mercy with others. And that mercy don't look like mercy to a wicked mind. To a religious mind as well. Because it was religious folks that wasn't supposed to be worldly, that hated the Messiah the most. They followed him. They followed him and harassed him, and accused him of operating up under the spirit of Beelzebub, a chief devil. Yeah, Lucifer himself, Hasetan himself, yeah. Therefore, seeing we had his ministry, right, it's a revelation that we're taking the responsibility of preaching truth and living truth, telling people a truth that might not like it. You, you'll preach to a hundred to save two. Yeah. And, 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 and you preach to 100 to save two, and the 98 want to kill you, don't like you, look at you funny, look down their nose at you, want to mistreat you, want to beat you, want to kill you. But, but we don't faint, we don't quit. Therefore, see, we have this ministry. As we have received mercy, we understand it's merciful. It's his mercy, it's his love that causes us to withstand the hate. Rhonda, good to see you on, young lady. It's by his mercy that, 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 uh, uh, uh when the last time you had some? <laughs> Girl, you better get you some. You trip. You, you, you sure have changed. You sound like, look like you in a cult or something. What's wrong with you? Now, I can't hang with you. That might rub off on me. No, you ain't invited. <clears throat> Therefore, see, we had this responsibility, <clears throat> this ministry. Therefore, seeing we had this, this uh, responsibility, this ministry, as we have received mercy. How do we get this responsibility? His mercy? You mean to tell me all this trouble and all this hate that's getting thrown my way and all I'm doing is showing people love? That's mercy? Yep. Because you could be lost too. Yep. The word says save yourself from this untoward generation. Because this untoward generation is under the influence of their wickedness. They're under the influence of the power of the prince of the air, the devil, and his doctrine, and his lies, and his deception. He done busted everybody up, got people ready to put some super poison in their body. And that's what uh, uh, Second Ezra, fifth chapter, that's what it sounds like to me. Whereas you locked up in the house and now animals is roaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nature is changing because the real source of it. Remember it said the truth would be hidden? The reason that women is giving birth to babies, put something in your body that don't belong there and move forward. Something that's a long lasting, at least as long as you live it. Put something in your body that you can't get out. You put, once you go in your body, you can't get it out. Now you, you giving birth to monsters. Now, now people that were friends are fighting one another. Yeah. People are losing their mind. Justice is gone because cause, cause, cause these wicked folks that's running it are Luciferians in the first place. But once they get they get their magic in you, get 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 their power in you, get get their satanic juice in you, it changed your very DNA structure. Now you a monster. Now you out your mind. Now peace is left to earth because you're under the influence of the power of the prince of the air because they're lying. They're liars. Satan is not only a liar, he's the father of the lie. And all of his children lie. And they've been given power 
through Satan, through the fallen angels, they've been given power and authority to manipulate and trick the masses. How can 1%, 13 families run the whole world through the, through the power of, of Lucifer? And people believe it. So when you tell people the truth in these last and every day, you look like the bad guy. Everybody's sheeple up under the influence, trying to keep their jobs. Folks want to keep their job. Folks want to seek to save their life. That's why the words say he to seek to save his life is going to lose it. You trying to seek to save your life, you going you to allow the devil and his children to, to, to put stuff in you? You, you going to defile the temple <laughs> so you can keep, keep, keep some money? Are you serious? Yeah, you is. The average person going to do it. So now they hate what I'm saying now. Of course they do. Now they don't like me. Oh, that's cool too. I get it. But I'm not going to quit. Why? Because I've received mercy in order to tell you the truth. That I'm not intimidated. <laughs> that I'm not selling you out for money or for what you think or how you feel. I'm going to tell the truth all day long. You hear me? Therefore, seeing though, you recognize that we have a responsibility. It says ministry. That's a responsibility to walk in truth and tell the truth. To walk in the healthy level of self-denial that calls me not to be a sellout. We'll stand with Yah in these last and evil days no matter what. Therefore, seeing, having a revelation that we have this responsibility, this ministry, y'all, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Ain't no quit in us. But have renounced, second verse, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yah deceitfully. Well, by the manifestation of the truth, committing ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yah. He is wise when so positioning yourself to, to, to put, put people in, in a state of mind that you're going to get the truth no matter what. That this is not a ministry that's going to cater to your flesh. Not trying to tickle your funny bone <laughs> to get along. Ain't no way. Right? Cry loud and spare not. When the best array come, the gospel come, it exposes the wickedness that we're doing. People have more of a state of mind to mind your business. And if you look, if you ain't got no business, you better you better get out of mind and go find you some. That's the state of mind of people. I'm grown. How you folks don't want to come and, and, and get folks in their business, especially when their business is anti yah goes against the Most High. They they rather believe they're in good standings with yah. And here you come saying, no, you're not. You ain't in good standings with him. You're on your way to hell. No, you 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 you're about to be destroyed. You're going to end up with a needle in you. Yeah, because because you, you you don't love truth. And that's why Second 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 Thessalonians, the second chapter, says uh, 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 Yah will send them a strong delusion that they'll believe a lie so that they all might be damned who don't love truth. Truth come and, and you have to repent. Truth come, you have, to, you have to change your life and your behavior. Truth come, you have to walk away from sin. And some folks ain't going to do it. Some folks ain't willing to do it. So the only thing they can do is end up not liking you for speaking it, for saying it. You messing my high up. You ain't, you ain't going to mess up my bedroom activity. You better go on with that. That's how people feel. I get it. Right? Third verse. But if our gospel, the best array, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. So, so what the what, what seeing that we had this ministry, the ministry that we preach is is hid from them that are lost. Because if you because 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 if you ever receive it, you ain't lost no more. But it is hid to the majority, the wide road folk. Straight and narrow is the path to lead it to life, and few there be to find it. The wide road folks will hear a certain level of teaching, a certain level of rebuke. A certain level of correction and be like, mm -mm, I can't listen to him. Mm -mm, I'm like, uh-uh. I, I need, what's the, good, the, the dude with the little curved fro in the Colosseum? This is your Bible. That cat, <clears throat> don't never preach against sin. That dude, y'all like him, huh? But if our gospel be hid, right? If it's hid. Yeah, it's hidden. It is hid to them that are lost. Listen, four first. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. The God of this world, what blinded them? The God of this world who's influencing these people in authority. Yeah, 
principalities, principalities in high places, those that are setting the rules and the standards, those that you listen to are on the news, those that have hijacked the earth and got you going on a course towards destruction. Yeah. In whom the God of this world has blinded the mind. It, it, oh, man, it's, it's cold if, if you physically blind in your eyes, but it's way worse to be blinded in your mind. Can't see. Second Ezra is the fifth chapter. Can't see what's going on. You can't see it. So they want your cooperation. You, you do what they say because you believe them. They use fear and it worked on you. In, in, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Who's the one that don't believe? The ones that ain't obeying Yah. Not the ones that know he exists. Plenty of people know he exists, but you got folks that don't obey him. That's the true Bible belief it's talking about. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Least the light of, of the glorious gospel of the Mashiach, who is the image of Yah, should shine on them. Because if it shined on you, you're going to repent. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked way, he said, I hear from heaven. I'll forgive your sins and I'll heal your land. But if you don't, the blindness is for you. Therefore, seeing we got this ministry, we got a responsibility to truth, period. Even if we're hated, if we, even if we're hated on, even if we end up losing our life. Book of good to see you all, man. Even if we end up losing our life, we got eternal life. We've already been bought with a price. Our life is no longer our own. We traded in and we have eternal life. I ain't trying to win no popularity contest. Are you serious right now? In this wicked world, <laughs> you got to love Yah to, to, to get out of what I'm talking about. I'm going to tell you that real talk. Because you can't be committing adultery and fornication, laying around on mattresses because y'all uh, attracted to one another. You can't do that. Yeah. You can't be running around here cussing and lying and, and cheating and doing you. <clears throat> I don't care if you Casper the Freely Ghost. You're a nice person. You're an obeying Yah. You got to repent from sin because we all was born in sin and shaped iniquity, even the nice guys. So-called nice guys. Nice gals. Yeah, we talking. Therefore, see, I got to let y'all go because I'm out of time already. Therefore, seeing we had this responsibility. Can you see it? Because the God of this world is handling his responsibility. He's a devil. The God of this world is a devil. <laughs> yeah, the, the power of the prince of the air. And it has blinded the minds, not just the eyes, the spiritual eye. Blinded the minds. Folks cannot see. They can't see it. So they're gonna line up today all around trying to get trying to get in one of these white tents. Cause they cause they under the influence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is the prelude to the real serum. That blind folks like zombies. <laughs> they was a spiritual zombie when they walked in, and they're gonna end up a natural zombie when they walk out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be as second Ezra. If you kept reading it and it describes it, these is in the last days too. You just have to read it. You got to read it. Second Ezra. If I read the whole thing, it gets real interesting. It gets super interesting. You have to fasten your seatbelt in order to read Esther. Right? <laughs> anyway. Therefore, seeing we had this ministry. Do you see it? We got a responsibility. And the responsibility we have, though it comes with turmoil and trouble and hate, <laughs> you endure it because you understand you receive mercy to be called out of the darkness. You're like in a, a, the land of zombies and you woke up. Now the zombies is after you. You going to get mad and want to go back and be a zombie again? Or are you going to understand that's his mercy that you're not a zombie? And because you're not a zombie, we faint not. Second Corinthians 4 and 1. Because, because we're not a zombie. Some folks some folks miss being with all their friends and everybody and getting along with the world and everybody like you. They like that type of stuff. They like to be liked and all that. They like likes and posts. Yeah, they like that, right? So 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 they want to hang out with them. Check this out. Therefore, seeing we had this responsibility to the zombies. Listen. Leslie, good to see you on, Miss Sutton. Big Sean, good to see you, man. Therefore, seeing we had this responsibility, 
as we have received mercy that he called us out of the darkness into the marvelous light so we don't faint, we don't quit, we don't give up hope that you want him too. Even though uh, 98 people could be hating on me, there's two that really want it and really to forsake, willing to forsake this wicked world to, to lay hold on to them. Willing not to become religious, having a form of yaliness, denying the power to the power to change. Because the average person turns religious. They don't go into true relationship. Because if you go into true relationship, you got to walk away from sin. All of it. People like religion. And a false doctrine that makes them feel comfortable in their religion. So they can keep on sinning and still believe they winning. Come on, somebody. I'm out of here, y'all. Therefore, seeing we had this responsibility, this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. We ain't quitting. We definitely not an influence of the power of the prince of the air, the God of this world. No, you can keep it. Call evil good and good evil all you want. I'm rolling with truth, period, like it or not. You heard me? Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you humble to know how, gleaning in your presence for us, sermonette, a short sermon for breakfast that we start off our day in your presence. Forgive us for all sins as we forgive those who sin against us and give us a heart and a mind to suffer for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. When we cease from sin, our flesh is going to be upset, but we choose you over our flesh and we understand that we receive mercy to be the holders of truth in these last and evil days and we'll take whatever come along with it because we got you and great is he that's in us than he that's in the world and we thank you for your salvation. Keep us in the master's name of Yehoshua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And all man. That was the lesson. Hallelujah for this morning. And we pray that we all obey. And that you got some mind. How many haters I got out there? Y'all mad at me? I hope not. Because I love y'all. You hear me? Hallelujah. Always a pleasure, Jackie. Hallelujah. Always a pleasure. Um th that that was the lesson. If you got some out of it, feel free. Hallelujah. Uh to push the share button, the like button. Push the share button. Push the like button. And, and the love button, all you want. That's great. More important, push the share button. Share your platforms with the truth. So other people know exactly where you're coming from and, and, and where they need to be coming from. And that's uh, repenting and getting with Yah because we're living in the last days and it's getting ugly. Uglier by the, uh, by the minute. And so is deception. The deception is growing. Woo! People under the influence of these people. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm telling you. I can get deeper, but that's deep enough for right now. But I ain't messing with them devils. I'll tell you that now. Say what you want to say. <laughs> I obey Yah and him only, and I see through their lies. Miss me. Okay, that was it. Um, What, up, what do I say at the end, y'all? I forgot. What do I say? Uh, push the share button. I want to uh, thank everybody that supports the ministry. I always got to remember those that financially support the ministry because they help me do what I do. Um, yeah, 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 you supporting the ministry frees up my time to study and to fast and to pray and to be in his face and to go out and feed and clothe and, 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 and minister and counsel like the stuff I do. That when people support ministry, that's that's what frees it up, free, free, it, free me up to be able to do what I do. So I say thank you. You know who you are. I say thank you. Um, if you're a beneficiary of this ministry, you know, those that are in close pro, pro, uh, I can't even talk. Proximity. Uh, um, can, can, like, receive food, clothes, whatever. Whatever we do. We do it all the time, too. Um, I, we do it with privilege. Privilege to serve y'all. Real talk. Um, but those of you that are spiritually benefiting from the ministry as well, most importantly, spiritually, and you would like to become a supporter of this ministry, it's my job to tell you how. If you have the Cash App, you can. All you got to do is put in donate the number to Derek, D-E-R-R-I-C-K, donate the number to Derek. Yeah. And that's the handle to support the ministry. You also go on my Facebook, Yahoo Israel. You can go inside the Facebook and uh, go on Messenger, and there's a giving button inside of there. That's how you can become a financial supporter of this ministry if the Most High is leading you to. Um, Y'all want to talk? 
We're going to go on the line and pray and talk about the lesson, what we got out of it. That's how we do. You can literally go on the line and say what you got out of the lesson. I'll tell you how. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. You can go in there and support the ministry. I love y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.